So I have recently created this bridal for Lancelot and um, I thought how about making a whole set? whole set that would look just like our childhood dream horse. So I've gathered some materials and it's going to be the first time I do something like that. So bear with me, we're just gonna hang out together. It is not a tutorial. It's my first trial, alright? So I chose this navy blue fabric because I thought it's looking really fancy and it also has a really fine weaving so I think it's gonna be good for miniatures. I started with cutting out big rectangles from it and now I decided to mark the size with a silver marker which was a terrible idea because it stained all over through the other side and I couldn't get it off and it still showed on the finished horse blanket. But well, here we go. As you can see, I'm eyeballing everything. I'm not measuring anything. I'm not making sure it's even. This is like, this is typical me. So once everything is marked correctly, I decided to cut it out to shape. And I was thinking, that the edges of this uh, fabric are frank a lot so I didn't have any fray check so I decided to hem it and I decided to hem it by hand because this fabric is so like slippery the glue just wouldn't hold it and obviously if you're using a different fabric and the glue would work then uh, using glue is much faster than sewing it all by hand but, well, I kind of like sewing, so it was not a big problem for me. Actually, it was quite relaxing. So first, I'm sewing together the edges that will go on the top, that will form the back line. And uh, this connects them and creates a profiled line that will follow the top line exactly the way it should. So our blanket lies on the horse's back very very nicely now i'm trying it on it's not perfect but it works so let's move on and here you can see the marker that stained through the fabric well let's just ignore that like all our other problems in life now this needs hemming so let's start and i don't know why but i decided to hem it inwards um i had a really interesting plan for it the rest of the edges needs hemming as well, so the neckline and unfortunately the bottoms too. So I'm just gonna show you how it looks for now. This is how it looks. I know it's not great for now, but we're gonna cover up all these ugly seams. Yeah, you wish that was so easy. Spoiler alert, it's gonna be a struggle. Now. I'm just gonna hem the bottom line and I did not expect that and the blanket did turn out a bit short for him but at this point I did not even realize that so I went through with it and this is when things really started going downhill. So I wanted to use this colorful thread and embroidery floss to color up the seams but once I started gluing it on I decided it does not look the way I wanted it. The horse survived. So back to the blanket. It looks a bit funny and not fancy. So I took it off. And I had an idea of adding detail to this white yarn by a twisting thread around it. Which was really difficult. And, and all I achieved from this is covering all my fingers with glue. And also, the yarn didn't stick to the blanket, so I only got it all messed up with glue and back to square one. But the third time is a charm. Ooh, last chance. Yeah, you can see I was pretty frustrated at this point. I'm taking black embroidery floss and the golden thread. So, it finally worked. The edges are a bit messy with glue, but let's ignore that. And now let's move on to the fun part, which is the creating. I'm taking this fluffy white fleece. 
and cutting a long strip of it that will pretend to be the fur that's around the neck to make it soft and fluffy for the toy horse that can't feel anything. Now you can see me debating with myself which side should I use. And shortly after, I moved to gluing the fur on the blanket, which proved to be a little bit of a challenge. It took me a while to get it glued on because the felt did not grab very well to the slippery fabric. But finally, I managed to sort of make it stay on. And now we're flipping the blanket, and I think it's looking pretty neat. Now I'm gluing a white ribbon along the top line. And it's time to start on the hardware now. This is very difficult to film and and pretty boring, so I think I'll just skip most of it. Okay, never mind, we'll come back to the hardware later now. I decided that this ribbon is far too wide for the scale, so I had the brilliant idea of cutting it in half, which did not focus. Camera, hello. Now, um... This is getting really messy with the glue. And while pulling it, I made a hole. I made holes in it. I don't know how. But never mind. I'm just gonna leave them here to dry and let's come back to the hardware. So I'm making these tiny hooks to attach the belly straps. And forgive my fingers covered with glue. You don't know where that came from. I also made some D-rings that will be used with the hooks and I don't know what happens to these but they really get lost when I'm cutting them off the wire like I made five of them now I see only two. Oh, here's the third one so two missing I don't know where they went so it's time to put our cut in half ribbon to a test mm-hmm terrific and now we're attaching it to the blanket and it's looking really nice so now the other ends which will contain the hooks and we need to make a strap long enough to reach under the horse's belly let's see if it works well it's not too bad is it and i have prepared some little wire bits and obviously I'm attaching them to the ribbon and there will be the closure on the front well that was a failure, <laughs> let's try again yeah, there we go nope, nope uh, nope yeah, there we go and this is the strap that will be on the other side I'm just going to measure how long it should be and we're gluing it down or no, we're not gluing it down just joking, we glued uh, two of these straps and now it's time for some decoration on the ramp I have uh, found some pictures in the internet of uh, really nice rope ornaments that they put on horse blankets and I tried my best to recreate them although it was a bit uh, of a challenge because I've never done something like that before. And now on the screen you can see me struggling with it. And actually I took it off. I had to try my best to wipe off the glue stain. And I decided to try creating the loops in my hands. Like with fingers, you know, and then gluing it on. So you can see, just the point is to not give up. So there you go, that's what I wanted to achieve. Now I'm attaching it and it just needs a small fixing so I'm using tweezers to um like move it around until I get the shape I wanted. And this is how it looks and I'm just gonna go ahead and I create something similar on the other side. It took me around whole five minutes and I think it's ready. I'll just secure the end and last thing I want to do is um, cover the ends of uh, all the white straps with a bit of leather. I was thinking about using this uh, wheel here to add detail on the leather pieces but it did not work like it didn't look good. <laughs> I think 
the space between the spikes is too big for this small scale and it just didn't work so I gave this idea up and I just stick them as they are so I apply a little bit of glue on each strap and then try my best to place the little leather square as evenly as possible and I do this with all the white ribbons now it's time to dress the horse in our new blanket oh that was what I call a dramatic entrance okay so I'm throwing the blanket on the horse's back then I attach the front straps which is pretty difficult and it requires a lot of fidgeting but well it's worth it and then I attach the belly straps and this is how it looks overall I'm, I think it looks nice but the glue all over the hem it's really bothering me a lot but never mind I had another idea uh, which is that we should make leg wraps so I picked out another fabric in the same navy shade and I cut out this strange shape that I don't know what it's called but it's gonna go around the horse's leg like that and I went ahead and cut some fleece to glue it around all the edges so it looks nice and fluffy and I also cut four little leather straps that will be used for closing the wraps closing, attaching, I don't know, whatever so I glued them on and on the other side I, I thought of using little wire hooks which were really difficult to get through the fabric but once I managed it kind of works I guess and I'm just securing the end of the wire with a leather square in hope that it will stop the hook from twisting and turning around when I'm trying to fasten the wraps and now we have four beautiful leg wraps leg wraps yeah so let's put them on and see how the whole set looks so well there you go i think it looks absolutely stunning it's totally giving the fancy show jumper vibes and that's exactly what i was aiming for despite the glue around the hem bothering me so much i think it's not that big deal like it's not super visible and Overall, it, this set looks really great and I wish I could take realistic pictures outside with him but it's been raining since 5 days so I really couldn't get out of the house but if the weather improves I will take him for some photo shoot. I hope you enjoyed seeing the process of making this set and see you next time, bye!